All right, guys, welcome back. So in this one, I want us to start talking about cores, defining a cores policy for your web server. So basically, cores stands for cross-origin resource sharing, and it's basically a way that you can restrict access to your web server. So you can define like rules to how your web server is accessed, by who. So same way, you can decide to not allow different computers to access your, your web server. So we do that by defining a COAS policy. So in Django, we have different ways to handle this. You can decide to go write your own code and make sure everything is good. But one of the easiest way to get started with it is this module called Django COAS header. So the way it works is basically you need to install it, which I think we are, which we are going to do. I'm actually going to check out another branch. You check out minus B. Let's say prepare, deploy. Okay, so here, I'm actually, I need, I need to check out my latest code, so I need to rebase it. So pull rebase origin master. Okay, so that will make sure I am up to date. And now we can go to our terminal and install Django Core's headers. Okay, so looking here, we need to add this to our installed app section. So if we go to our settings.py, which is here, installed apps, right here. So we need to add it there, make sure it's there. And then the next thing we need to do is in the middleware, have the core as middleware. So if we go to middleware, I'm gonna do a quick search here. We need to make sure we have those two. So I'm going to bring this one here. And now, notice that you can actually define a whitelist. And a whitelist basically will be a list of IP addresses that you would want to connect to your web server. So when you define a whitelist, it restricts access to your web server to only the domains you list. So it's going to depend on, on your use case and the need for your, for your web server. But for us, since this is for for running purposes and we really don't have a lot on the server to restrict to, to everyone. So I'm going to use this core as origin allow all, which will allow everyone to connect to our web server. So anywhere in the settings.py, let's say here, you can define that and then set it to true. And then what that will do is it will allow everyone to connect to the web server. All right. So for us, that's all we are going to need to do to enable cores with the application. So if you have a different kind of need, feel free to check out this documentation. I'm sure you'll find something that can work for your use case. So if this video was helpful, consider giving it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you in the next one.